Hello, I will soon be having a video about impatient lettering stuff and I'm still thinking about how to do it because um, just recording all my stuff <laughs> is kind of new. I got to finish um, everything that I did yesterday up until my son was picked up by his dad. And um, just to give a quick sneak peek, this is one impatient, easy, quick way to uh, get some lettering. I actually would call it more like a uh, dress up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get this week ready because it is Monday morning and I got to start work soon, but I didn't want to get too um, bogged down and doing things later. And I thought this week I would use some of my washi. I have this old Christmas container that I put my washi in. And I mean, it's really old, like the lid doesn't even go on it very well. And I uh, basically packed them in here this way and it works really nice. I just took out the ones that I think I will use on my week spread today and I don't usually use washi on the week spread but I like think it is fun to use just little bits and pieces I love these blue ones these came from Timu I believe so I actually want to use this one too all right I don't know how much talking I'll do for this I'm mostly just going to start messing around and see what I like and make it happen we're gonna make it happen I'm gonna use them like stickers stickers randomly. So one of the things that I think adds to the crowded funness of my weeklies is that I will place bigger stickers, sometimes smaller ones, randomly on the page before the week even starts. And then I just kind of go around them. And um, I like that because it, um, I do better adjusting to something. I don't know if I do better is quite the right phrasing. I like to adjust to other things. I like moving around them and still making it work. Makes me feel a little, I don't know, resourceful. <laughs> All right. Fun, fun, fun. I might just play some music for this instead of talking about it. That's probably the best thing. And, um, a video of my sticker collection because I do think they're pretty fun. I'm not thinking anything when I lay this down. I'm mostly, I don't want to block up an entire, well this one practically is, um, column. Well, it seems I've done that, so never mind. <laughs> As you can see, I just did what I wanted to do or what my brain said. This would be good and I'm like, okay, just do it randomly. No backsies, although you can, of course, go back. And then just a little one down here. Let's see, do I even want to add any of these other ones? Well, I do like these letters. So I think I will. I am left-handed and this roll, I don't know if it is a left-handed thing or not, but it feels like it's done backwards. I do this just as impatiently as I do anything else. I just wanna, I don't wanna think about it too much. I kinda think it adds, it's more fun when you don't think about it too much. Obviously, I, I don't always love the ones that are on hangers or with carts. I like it when they're just like on a shelf. I found this book on Timu as well, although they are on Amazon and I thought, really cheap on Timu so I'll just see if I like it more um, or if it still works well. Let's see. I don't want 
to go too big anymore just because I don't know what the day's like but and I do go back sometimes later and just add more um, smaller ones but I feel like this sticker would be fun it has a different shape so I could still work around it when I'm writing Let's hope I'm not too busy on Saturday. I just write small. <laughs> and that's a good way to start the day. So, the only thing I did this morning so far was have coffee. And I filmed a little video. So, how about I add it there. You can see, I'm going to take one of my... I have this little pouch with a bunch of pens in it. I try to make it <laughs> make things a little transportable, but it's not always as helpful as I think it will be. I'll use the brown, this brown marker. Pick this up at Michael's. It was by itself. It's a Zig Writer and a midliner that I got. Um, I got a five pack from Jet Pens. This has a thicker end and a thinner end, and it actually is really fun to fill in spaces with this. So let me see. So that's the thick end of the blue. There's the I think that's the thin end of the brown. That's the thick end of the brown. I only got a brown and a blue. But one thing I was doing kind of regularly for coffee in the morning, so I would put it just lightly with marker, the midliner, and then just a quick cursive there. If I did it too slow, it looks shaky and, and weird. So I find that the best, and I'm gonna go over this when I do that lettering video, which hopefully I can do this week. I find that if I slow down too much, especially with cursive, it doesn't work, and 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 um, I don't actually, I don't actually want to try to do it perfectly. I think the whole point is just to this should not be a stressful process. This should be a relaxing, nice, fun process. And if I'm thinking too hard or trying to do it too well, it's, it kind of loses its charm for me. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try to tilt my camera a little bit because I am left-handed and I noticed when I did this before um, it was kind of problematic. So let me see if I can get even lower and get a little bit more to the side. I don't know if this is going to be helpful. So let's see. And actually I'm going to... doesn't look like much but then I'm going to take the thinner end of this and I'm just going to go around where the bevel edge of the other pen stopped it's nothing fancy it's just just enough to dress it up You just put on a uh, put on a bracelet, and all of a sudden you dressed it up a little. And I'll add little dots around. And here, let's see. How about I go back and finish with some things from yesterday? I don't, I don't know if I can even remember them. <laughs> all right. After my son left, that's right. Me and my loves went out and got some. We went out and got a brewski at one of our favorite breweries in here. So um play around with the length of letters. And I saw someone do an ampersand like this once in a video and I was like, ooh. it to fit 
where it goes. And if I want to, I can just take one aspect of each letter and thicken it. And that adds a bit also. So look, we're getting some sneaky lettering tips in here. And for O's, just take one side and make it a little thicker. And this L will thicken that up. Now, if you, you can always, of course, improve upon this to whatever sort of goal you have when you do lettering. Me, I just want it to be different. That's all. Just a little different. Now, I like to do these big fat arrows. After we went to Molly, we came home and we listened to music, built a fire, and generally enjoyed each other's company. So, now I'll take the thick end and see how I can do. See, it's pretty thick. So, what I'm going to do to kind of have that is I'm going to do the same thing I did with coffee. I'm going to go around it with black. It just adds a little bit of something else to it, you know? And even little things, like, of course, this is my book. This is how I like it all filled up. I like a lot of chaos in your eyes. I like it to be a hunted peck sort of deal. I don't know. I don't, I like looking at things that aren't so easy making my eyes and brain hunt for it. I am a researcher by nature. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then, let's see. My friend got me this little pencil case, so I use it to hold some of my... Um, so I'm going to try to do like a little fire thing. Don't need to do it too fancy. I do have to start my work day. Let's get that brown. like this and that's the way to make any illustration look a little bit more like an illustration is add more color Ta -da, just add some yellow and so we need a fire We haven't had a fire in a while, and it was kind of cold, and I was a little hesitant. And and then Phil, my partner, said, come on, it'll be warm as soon as it's done. And it lit up fast, and it was over soon, and it was great. And then we decided to watch on the Disney Channel while we were at our favorite, one of our favorite pubs at Molly. A friend of ours said, ooh, you have to watch this thing on the Disney Channel, and it was called, oh, I hope you can even see him, I, what a jerk, I'm such a jerk, <laughs> so it was called The Last Repair Shop, Phil and I are musicians, and um, I never did get to play an instrument in school, I grew up outside of Boston, and um, it cost money to rent an instrument even to play sports you had to rent the uniform and I could not do that we grew up without money until I went into foster homes which still felt like I didn't have anything sometimes depends on where you end up and this was a really cool quick 40 minute documentary and see I'm just thickening up the whole letter I want it to stand out and I'll flip back real quick to my early days in this, because this is the first time I've actually used a cousin, but I have been using notebooks since I was about 12 years old, um, mainly and primarily for automatic writing or my writing practice. I feel like my voice is really weird right now. It is morning. <laughs> and I was keeping it kind of more along the sleek, well, <laughs> 
sleek to me when you compare. And then even you could just add like these, if you just put little serifs on the end here, it adds a whole different feel and look to the letters. Do you see that? So I can, when I do my very clear lettering video, again, hopefully this week, I'll include little tips like this, and you'll be ahead of the game when it comes time to see it. And that was really cute. And I don't know why I specify it, but I watched it with Rose. And it, I think because sometimes my, me and my son have some like bonding moments over TV. He's 15, and I love that he has the same kind of taste and stuff as I do when he gets excited about watching stuff, which was so me when I was a teenager. I just, man, I love movies and TV. So there we go. We finished my day. Got a couple of some tips in there for how I do stuff. And next I'm going to put that I did this and I worked because I do. I really have to log into work now. So <laughs> let's go back up here. Oh, and I'm going to go back to the front of my planner real quick. Whoops. You didn't see that snafu. That was a behind the scenes snafu. All right. So let me show you real quick the very beginning of my weeklies and you see it's just a little more clear and these are very simple lines so we have just simple clean lots of space it was like a list and very quickly I was like ooh, like this is probably filled in quickly and I would just write how I would fast but if you add other colors or highlight behind it all together it all works I mean these are no great shakes but when you align them with things that are different, I think it's what gives that interesting thing to the eye. So when I make that video, I'm going to maybe I'll zoom in on some of these and just redo them and, and show you all the different ways. But so many different things that are actually, I promise you, so much more simple than you think. Use your own handwriting and then you're decorating your handwriting. You're like taking how you write and either making it thicker, making it thinner, making it longer, adding different color to it, different lines, um, even just outlining it with a marker. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't want to get in the weeds. I promise I, I will make that video. I just, um, I'm one of those people where I get sidetracked. I'm pretty sure there's a name for it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you later. Enjoy your week. Hopefully I will get this video up today on March 25th. Otherwise it will be sometime this week, but fingers crossed I can do it today. Enjoy your day, everybody. Thanks for being here. Subscribe, like it, come back. I'll miss you. Bye.